All right, well, time now for weekend property. And this week, the NOB hiked up its variable rates just four months after telling customers it would put their interests first. Yeah, so is it now time to fix your loan? Well, it's great to have Sally Tyndall from ratecity.com.au back with us this morning. Uh, Sally, good to see you. First of all... Uh, who should be considering fixing their rates? Oh, look, fixing is a crystal ball exercise, in my opinion. Uh, look, if you fix in 2019, you could miss out on the golden egg, which is an RBA rate cut that is potentially on the cards, perhaps in the second half of this year. But equally, you're protecting yourself from out-of-cycle bank rate hikes. So, look, step back. Take a practical look at your life. If you're someone who likes the idea of knowing exactly how much monthly repayments are and you don't have to worry about the RBA or your bank for a few years, then maybe fixing is a good option for you. And there's some really competitive rates out there. Uh, two years, 3.58 per cent. Three years, 3.69 per cent. Five years, this is my favourite, 3.74% from Greater Bank. That's fixed, below 3.8% till 2024. That's a lot of not worrying about the RBA or your bank. Mm. But there's also um, some really good variable rates around at the moment too. But like we just saw there with those fixed rates, we're not seeing the best rates from the banks, are we? No, we are not. We're or the seeing four big the, banks, I should That's say. right. We're seeing them from the low-cost online lenders. We've got 3.44% is the lowest in our database. That's from reduced home loans and Freedom Lend. A lot of people wouldn't have heard about them, but there are still other bigger name brands out there uh, competing in the pointy end of the market. HSBC, it's big international bank, 3.59%. Mm. Ubank, which is actually backed by the NAB, is 3.59%. And if you can believe this, CBA is competing a little bit in this space, 3.79%, mm. but only if you're a new customer. That's oh, the key. All right, Sally, so, so what are your tips out there for people out there thinking about you know, fixing their loans now? Look, if you're thinking about fixing, check what your rate is at the moment, then jump onto a comparison site what other lenders are offering. Make sure that it's got all the features you want. Sometimes fixed loans can be a bit limiting, so see, make sure you can make extra repayments in it and be sure that you're happy to fix for the right period of time because you are locked in. They can charge you a break fee if you want to get out early. Well, how easy is it to change? Because you, most of the banks do charge a discharge fee if you want to get out. Um, what sort of figures are you talking about? Yeah, there? okay. So discharge fees are around the 350 mark, particularly from the big banks. There's no chance they're going to waive those fees for you if you're leaving them. But there's application fees from your new lender, and if your lender wants your business, they are likely to waive them. They're even likely to waive ongoing fees if you ask. The thing is, people don't know to ask. So when you're signing up to a new lender, ask for your fees to be waived. They may just say yes. All right, Sally. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.